Hey friends, today I want to finish the Apostle John's second letter to the church. Second John verses 12 and 13. He, he's, he's finishing his letter and he says this, I have much to write to you, but I do not want to use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to visit you and talk with you face to face so that our joy may be complete. And he says, the children of your chosen sister send their greetings. You know, any more in the day and age in which we live, um, we're losing the personal touch, right? It's one of the great benefits and joys of a small church, right? And one of the great joys I've had in pastoring Mesquite Bible Church all these years is I have the chance to get to know you and to speak to you and you me face to face, right? I talk, uh, talked talk to a friend who, who was part of a bigger church, and, and he's been part of this church three and a half years, and he's only spoken to the pastor twice. You know, I know others, right, who, um, I mean, God is using these churches, but the fellow who brings the message is on a screen. You know, and, and in big churches, they, they don't know you personally. And, uh, you know, God's doing great things through some of these larger churches and, and pastors that just have amazing leadership skills and they have amazing ministries. But one of the benefits and joys of being part of a smaller church is getting to know one another face to face, right? I have much to write to you, but I do not want to use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to visit you and talk with you face to face so that your joy may be complete. The children of your chosen sister send their greetings. I'd encourage you to prioritize face-to-face -face relationships with other believers. And, and, you know, if you're part of our church family, that's one of the strengths and one of the reasons why you need to be involved, to get to know people and to uh, serve one another face-to-face. -face. Think about these things and be encouraged.